Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you how to create a custom security role in Power Platform, and I will discuss what security roles are in Power Platform and what their practical usage is. This is a very important aspect while you are dealing with Power Platform resource permissions. So let's get started with this. Now let me explain what exactly the security roles. Security roles in Power Platform are sets of permissions that define what actions users can perform and what data they can access within an environment. They control access to resources like apps, data tables, and settings, ensuring users have only the permissions necessary for their roles. Security roles help administrators manage access securely and streamline operations by assigning role-based privileges tailored to different job functions. There are many out-of-the-box security roles like system administrator, system customizer, environment maker, basic user, delegate, support user, and many more. Apart from the out-of-the-box security roles, we also can create custom security roles as per our requirement. Security roles in Power Platform define the permissions and access levels for users. So this is about the security roles and uses of that in Power Platform. Now let's get started. How can we create a custom security role? I will start from the beginning. You need to log into Power Platform. Admin Center Portal. Then go to the Environments menu or section. Then from the list of environments, select your environment where you want to create your custom security role. For example, I will go with this environment. I will just open this environment. I'll get to see all the properties or attributes of my environment. From here, I will be able to create a security role for my environment. So once you open your environment, you could see the access section in the right side panel. Here I can see the security roles link. I can expand it here. I will open in a new tab. And at the same time, I can find and open security roles in other ways as well. I can click on this environment settings. Then I can go to this users plus permissions section, and then I will go to the security roles. Both are basically same. Using any of these approaches, we can create a security role. So once we land into the security roles page, we can see plenty of out of the box security roles. Already available, as you can see. These are the out of the box security roles. Like we have AIB roles, AIB SML roles, app deployment orchestration role, app opener, approvals administrator, approvals user, async ingestion, basic user, and many more. You can have a look at the screen. You can go to my article here. Already I have created. These are the out-of-the-box security roles in Power Platform, and you can see the explanation of each of the roles here. I have explained here each of these roles in very detail in this article. Now I will move on to create a custom security role. There might be a scenario where none of the out-of-the-box security roles fit your requirements. Then you need to create a custom security role. I'll show you how to create that.
And that is the agenda of this video. I'll show you how to create a custom security role. Once you are in the security role screen, you can see the new role link at the top. You can click on this. Then I can see the new security role creation screen. You need to enter your new security role name. I am entering something like demo custom role. Select your business unit. So this is the parent business unit, and this is the child business unit. This custom business unit I have created, I can select that I will explain what the business unit is about. A business unit in Power Platform is a partition section of an organization used to manage access, data, and resources. It helps create structured, secure environments where users only access relevant information based on their role or department. You may think that you have the offices in the USA, Canada, Australia, and the UK. Think like, per country, you need to define your business department. You may define USA business, Canada business, UK business, and Australia business. Then, for your business model, you need to create your country-specific business unit. This is just an example. Even you can create a business unit for your company as well. It could be department-specific, vertical-specific, or project-specific. It is to organize your data in a more hierarchical, structured way. Hope, we understood the concept of business unit and power platform. This is my business unit. Like a security role, we also can create a custom business unit. Using this users and permission section, go to your environment settings, Expand Users and Permissions section. Here you can see the business units and you can create your own custom business unit from here. I'm not getting into that as this is not the agenda of this video. Using this option, I've created a custom business unit that I'll use in my new role creation. So this is what I have selected here. Next thing is I need to select the member's privilege inheritance. What is that? When role is assigned to a team, team member gets all team privileges by default. Team members can inherit team privileges directly based on access level. So basically there are two options here, direct user, basic, access level, and team privileges. And team privileges only. By default, direct user, basic, Access level and team privileges will be selected and also we have. This checkbox include app opener privileges for running model driven apps. So let's keep this as is. Do not uncheck this. Then you can click on the save button and the new role will be created. By the way, what are these two options? Direct user, basic, Access level and team privileges and team privileges only. Which one we need to select while creating a new role? In my article, I have explained these. You can read my article where I've outlined these in tabular comparison format. Direct user, basic, access level, and team privileges. 
Choose when users need some individual accountability in addition to team permissions, where they must handle records personally, but also collaborate on shared data. Team privileges only. Choose when the goal is to promote unified access and control for the team with consistent permissions across all members, simplifying management. Here I have explained in my article. I'll mention the URL of the article in the comment section of this video. What I'm gonna do is I'll just move on to create this role. Let's click on this save button. My new role is being created now. Yes, my new custom role got created. And you can see that all the tables behind this role are being displayed here. We will have business management section. We'll have business process flows. We'll have core records. We'll have a customization section and all their associated tables. You can see at the screen for the tables and their properties. You can select your table, then assign a parent-child business unit or organization or others as shown in the screen. I'm not getting into that, just shown how to do this. So basically we can manage the table and they are permission levels from here. There are various views like show all tables, show only assigned tables and show only unassigned tables. Based on the view selection, view screen gets changed. Now, let's turn off this compact grid view toggle. We'll get to see the compact grid view in the turn off mode. I'll go to this miscellaneous privileges tab. Would you like to save them? Discard changes. Then we can go to the privacy related. Privileges. I'll focus on this. Show all tables view. Using this screen, you can copy security role. If you click on this copy security role, you can create a new role based on this security role. Like create another security role by copying this one. Only its privileges will be copied over. Then we can rename the security role. I've renamed my security role. You can delete this security role using this delete icon. Now, 
you can configure columns for your views to display. Click on the Copy Table Permissions to copy your table permission to another table. As I explained, we can even copy table permission. We can copy table permission from one table to another table. Just click on this. Copying from currency table. Select the to table. And click on this. So this is how we can copy table permission. I'm not going to complete this. This is just to show you how to do it. This is all about today's demo. Custom security role in Power Platform Admin Center. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and Help me to grow on this journey.